Hello everyone, this is Cynthia with CC's Crafty Life. Today I'm going to be making tomato dumplings. I've never made these before, but I watched them, um, making them on YouTube today. And I know I can do this. I have some homemade canned tomato juice, and uh, I'm going to add a little extra to it. be putting in a quart of this and I did leave the water in the tomato juice because as you cook it you're gonna boil it down then I got this at uh, Walmart as a free gift so it is um, the yes tomato sweet basil so I'm gonna put some of that in there I'm going to add some Country Bob's seasoning. It says beef, chicken, or pork. I put probably a little over half of a teaspoon. And this is curry powder. And I'm going to put some in the lid. And I probably about a half a teaspoon. And then some chopped onions. I'm going to put the rest of this in there, which you can see is a pour. It's not a whole bunch. I'm going to turn this on, starting off as high. And since it already had some basil, I figured I'd just go ahead and add a little bit more. And that was probably a heaping tablespoonful. So I have about two cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm going to put some um, Himalayan salt in here. Okay, got it too tight. And it's hard to see how much you're putting in unless you stand it up and watch it go in. But I don't want to add too much salt. There we go. Because I salted the tomatoes. And you want to put some pepper in it. If I can figure out how to get over. And I probably put a about a half a teaspoon of pepper in it. Alright, and she put an egg in her, so I'm going to do that. There's one thing I'm not going to do. I mean, even though she used um, a um, sugar substitute, she put about two cups of sugar in it, and I just don't think I want mine sweet. If you do, then you can add it to taste. I'm going to put the egg in there, and I'm going to Sorry about the girls. They heard a horn outside. And then I'm going to gradually add some water. And I don't add too much water. And I should have used a spoon, but I really wanted that egg to get incorporated pretty good. It's smelling good. I, it came to a rolling boil, and I just took it off of the pie and put it on the back one and turned this one down low. This is getting about how you want it. Kind of mash this up. I'm going to add just a little bit of water. I'm trying to get all this off 
around the side and the egg in there very good. Now this is how I like it. Thick. And I'm going to turn back on the um, tomato juice and we'll start dumping them in there. Okay, I'm trying to get this close. I can't get it too close because I have a burner over here. I don't want to melt my tripod. But she took and made very small dumplings like this. And she just put them down in there. I hope you guys see that was pretty good. Like this. And she just kept putting them in. And they sink to the bottom when they're ready. She put these in very slowly. I'm going to get this to boil a little bit more. And I'm going to get out my wooden spoon. Move my lid. Add just a little bit more. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit, about on six. I had it on four. Because it does cool when you put these dumplings down in it. Now I'm going to continue putting these dumplings down in it. And make sure you put your spoon down in the liquid because it keeps it from sticking. But I'm going to continue doing this and I'll, I'll be back. turn my vent off just a little bit on and this is them I had to move them from over there because I can't see them very good so this is going to be a smaller one I'm going to set it on five and they're not ready yet I just finished I did cook the bacon but it must have been old it didn't smell right and it didn't taste right so I did add about a half a pound of hamburger meat pre-cooked it and I'm going to put it in here and I get um, I think it's 80 20 something like that um, I don't like a lot of fat this should get really thick So I'll be back as soon as this cooks some more. Okay, it's been cooking about 10 minutes. It's beginning to get thick. I'm cutting it down on three is like a simmer, but I'm putting the lid on it, so it's gonna make it a little more hot. And I'm gonna cook it for about 15 more minutes. Okay. It's done. If you want it thicker, you can add some cornstarch in here or instant potatoes. I didn't make very much because you can double, triple the recipe, but just as to eating, I'm not going to do that. And let's see how this is going. See, I bet you I can cut these with a fork. Yes, I can. Y'all can't see me though. So I'm gonna move the camera. Bring this up to you a little bit. Right here. And you can cut that with a fork. It's a little hot. Let it cool. It's still a little bit hot. But I'm going to try it. Mmm. It is really good. 
Mm. That is really good. Well, I thank you for watching me. And um, tune in for some more if you, excuse me, if you like it. If you'd like, if you don't like it, hit it anyway. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. Y'all have happy eatings.